So now that you know the difference between SVGs and raster graphics file formats like PNGs and GIFs, you may be asking yourself, where do I get SVGs? In the previous video, I said that you can create SVG files with a text editor. So let's do it and create a basic shape. So here I have a basic HTML file, then I have a container that is centered horizontally and vertically. So I will be creating the SVG within this container. The first thing you need to create is the SVG tag. And here we will create a basic line. Let's add the line tag, then let's add the coordinates for this line. So the first point is 0, 0, and the second point is 100 and 100. And to see it, let's give it a stroke color. And now you can see in the browser the final result. Let's create another line. I will be copying this line of code, then let's change the values. And now we have this line. And if you want to have a different stroke color, here let's give it another value. Let's try this value. Great. Now let's create another shape. Let's create a circle. So instead of using the line element, we will use the circle element. Then let's give an attribute of CX and CY, 50, 50, and a radius of 40. Well, don't worry if you don't understand how they work. In the next section, you will learn everything about these attributes. So now you can see that we had a black circle. If you want to change its fill color, you can do it using the fill attribute. And let's try this color. And now our circle has a different color. There are other shapes that you can create, but sometimes this is not what you will be doing. Sometimes you have to create complicated shapes, and creating them using the text editor is really really challenging. Instead of doing this, you will be using a vector graphics editor like Illustrator, Sketch or Inkscape, or maybe an online SVG editor. So let's see how we can use a vector graphics editor, and we will be using Adobe Illustrator. So here we can use these tools that Adobe Illustrator provides to help you create your vector graphics. So I will be creating a basic shape, well a random one that has no meaning for the purpose of demonstration. And when you finish creating what you want, you go and save what you have created. And here, let's choose the SVG file format, let's give it a name, then let's click on save. And now if we go to this file and try to open it, here let's open it with a browser, and you can see that the browser is displaying our SVG file. Now if you don't want to create your own vector graphics, you can get them on the web. You can do a simple search in Google and you will get a list of the websites that provide vector graphics. So if you want to use SVG icons, you can go to this website, which is Flat Icon, and here you have a huge list of vector graphics. You can preview them, you can look for a specific vector graphic, so if you type in in the search box something like this, you'll have the following results. So let's choose one of them, so if you like this one, you can click on it, then click on this button, then let's choose the SVG file format. You can either use the premium version or you can have it for free, but you need to read the license to avoid problems. And now once you download it, you can open it with your browser. 